Every one of us is an explorer. From our first steps to our last breath, we are constantly exploring the world around us. This world is something we all have in common. It's home to all of us. We are floating through space on this beautiful blue ball, a perfect 93 million miles from the sun. Some pick out one corner of this world to call their true home, while others may live out of a backpack and call the entire world home. We find ourselves somewhere in the middle. We travel with our home on our back in a way, but on a slightly larger scale, utilizing recreational vehicles to live comfortably wherever the tires will roll. This world is full of beauty and adventure, and we seek to discover as much of it as we can. Recently, the North has been calling to us, so we are embarking on a new adventure we have been dreaming of for years. We are taking a Lance truck camper and pointing the tires north. Adventure awaits at the end of the roads you know, so join us as we find new roads going north. Bring the RV up here. We'll need, we'll need a truck camp for that. We are the Mortons, and for the past three and a half years, we have been exploring the contiguous United States by RV with our two older dogs, Mocha and Bella, who travel with us everywhere. Mocha absolutely loves the water, and Bella, well, she's just all around cute. With an engineering background, I have a knack for getting into anything mechanical, and I do my best to keep the wheels turning. My wife Caitlin is the planner, handles the maps and navigation to get us to our destinations, and always has a soft spot for animals. Together we have had some amazing adventures. But we've also had some misadventures along the way as well. Holy. Ah, awful people stole our bikes! But in the end, we have accumulated lots of stories, and our lives have forever been changed by our travels. We are now embarking on a new episode of our lives, a new expedition, a new adventure that will have its own sets of ups and downs, but a guarantee that we'll walk away with a lot more stories. Well, I guess we should start with when we met. We met in college, and we started a mobile DJ company together. We graduated college, we got jobs, we bought a house, we bought cars. We got married, Tom was flying power paramotors at the time. Caitlin had horses. Overall, it felt like we really had everything that we wanted. But we just weren't fulfilled, and we thought a lot of it had to do with our location. So the lightning hit us to make this change when we were vacationing in Florida one winter, and we flew home, and we landed in a blizzard. and. We had to drive home about two hours in that blizzard. And as we were driving through this mess of a storm, we were just like, why did we even come back? And it was just awful. We don't like winter. We didn't want to come back. We were asking each other, why did we come back? Why are we here? And on our way home, we were discussing how could we possibly live a lifestyle that would allow us to travel and find work in different places and possibly work as we traveled even. And that was kind of a light bulb moment and we happened to drive by a general RV center in Michigan and Tom pointed to them and he says to me, aren't those things kind of like houses on wheels? Can't you drive them? 
wherever you want, drive them south. So between that moment and arriving home, we had pretty much decided to sell everything and go live in an RV for a while. We had no RV experience before that. We've had a little bit of RV experience as uh, kids. Both of us had, our families had RVs. But outside that, as an adult, had never been exposed to RVs, knew nothing about it. So we just dove in head over heels. We hit the road, we made it work. We made a few laps of the country. We traveled all the way from Florida to Washington to California and really just fell in love with traveling. Since hitting the road, we always wanted to travel to Alaska. I actually had the privilege of growing up there. I spent a few years of my childhood in Anchorage and I've always wanted to go back and I've wanted to take Caitlin with me. So Alaska, we've always said that we wanted to go to Alaska, but we would never do it in our current fifth wheel. We've always said that we would want to do it in a truck camper. The truck camper is extremely versatile. That You can tow something, you have a truck with you. Uh, having a fifth wheel, we've always had a big truck. I always love having a truck. We will use it sometimes. It would allow us to go to all the places that we wanted to. The size of our current fifth wheel really limits us. And even traveling around in the lower 48, we've come across places that we've said, we would love to do this again in a truck camper. You have four wheel drive, so you can even get places you might not be able to get otherwise. It just really made a lot of sense to us. And we always plan to go to Alaska in a truck camper. We've built a relationship with Lance Manufacturing and we have an opportunity to fulfill our dream and test out one of their new truck campers traveling through Canada and Alaska. So when we first started the conversation about the possibility of, of partnering with the Mortons, obviously the question was, hey, what kind of rig would be perfect for a trip to Alaska? And quite honestly, there's probably not a better rig than a truck camper in terms of type of RV. So then it's like, okay, which model? Because we make them all the way from a 650 to 1172. And uh, they're gonna be on the road a long time, living full time in it. And obviously we wanna lead off with our flagship, which is the 1172 uh, truck camper. It's our flagship, it's a double slide. It has a ton of room in it, a ton of storage for a truck camper, and I think makes the perfect vehicle to, to take to Alaska and back. So um, that's the truck camper we picked. And we always wanna put our campers on the best possible truck situation you, you can have. And the Ford F-350 we, is a dually um, and a crew cab four wheel drive. So it's equipped to take that 1172 anywhere they're gonna to wanna to take it. In our efforts to make people, number one, aware of the brand, who we are and what we do, and then like the brand, to be able to want to buy it and use it, um, we work with a lot of different people to help us get it, get that done. So uh, whether it's magazines or pro professional athletes that we sponsor, um, or a project like, like this one with Morton's on the Move, it's basically to partner with brands that are similar to ours in quality, and then just get the word out not only on the product, but the lifestyle. So that's part of the mission is who do we partner with to help us do that? And I think uh, the Bortons are gonna be fantastic at it. The travel plans are extensive. We're gonna be entering Canada in early May and we won't be coming back down till mid-October. So we're planning to spend quite a bit of time getting up to Alaska, in Alaska, and even making it all the way to the Arctic Ocean. And we really wanna stay long enough to see the Aurora Borealis. Our plan is to enter Canada near Vancouver, BC and head northeast to Banff and Jasper National Parks. From there, we'll head to Dawson Creek, BC and take the Alaska Highway to Alaska. Our first major destination is Denali National Park, followed by the Midnight Sun Festival in Fairbanks around the summer solstice. After that, we drive the Top of the World Highway back into Canada and take the Dempster Highway into the Northwest Territories, where we will hop on the new all-season road to the remote town of Tuktoyaktuk on the Arctic Ocean. Then, we return to Alaska to spend some time exploring the Kenai Peninsula. In September, we start making our way back south on the more western route known as the Cassier Highway. We've got a very crammed schedule this summer. We're going to see some amazing things and have some awesome fun. So we are very excited. We expect it's gonna be about 10,000 miles of driving. We wanna see the Northern Lakes, the Arctic Ocean, of course, glaciers, wildlife, and really get to connect with that Alaskan 
northern Canada, just remoteness where people haven't completely settled everything. The travel plans actually took quite a bit of time to put together because there is so much ground cover between the lower 48 and Alaska and we're going to be covering about 10,000 miles so there is a lot to see between here and there. So we really went off of what we heard from other people who have traveled up there which there are quite a few. We researched a lot online, we used maps, we looked at the milepost, which is kind of the guide to traveling in Alaska. We've tried to leave our travel plans pretty flexible so that if we hear of something along the way that wasn't on our radar before, we have the flexibility to go and see and do those things. So we've got a generalized plan of where we want to go and when, but the actual details will kind of fill themselves in as we go. The benefits of the truck camper are that it's flexible, so we want to be able to adjust our schedule and be flexible so that we can take the most advantage of that. Personally, I'm really excited to get back to Alaska, uh, get to see it from an adult perspective. Having grown up there, you just see the world differently as a child, and I'm really excited to see Alaska as an adult, get to experience those wild lands, get to experience the culture and the people that choose to live up there. I am so excited to see the landscape of Canada and Alaska. There's going to be some amazing mountains, there's going to be amazing wildlife. I think one of the one of the things I'm excited to see uh, happen with, with the project and with the, the product itself uh, is all the versatility in different ways that can support a lifestyle because that's what RVing to me is all about. So it's your base camp, whatever you're into, whatever that might be, an RV can support that. And the 1172 going to Alaska, the ideas are, are limitless. In Alaska, man, you name it, as an outdoors person, it's, it's paradise. So it's gonna be really fun to see how that gets used. I think to say that I'm excited would be a major understatement. We have been working on this project and getting this off the ground for many months and that it's actually here and it's actually happening. It's a little surreal and we are incredibly pumped to be going up to Alaska and fulfilling this dream. This expedition is not out of the ordinary. This is something most people can do. And in this series, we hope to inspire, educate, and encourage others to get out and live their dreams as well. It's not always easy going. We have sure had our challenges along the way getting to this point. But with every challenge comes new learnings and new stories. All the things we've done, all the ups, the downs, the side jobs, the hard work have all been stepping stones to this point. We can't wait to find out where this road takes us, what people we meet, what experiences we have, what life lessons we learn. We are on the move again, on to a new and fantastic adventure.